Spider-Man Homecoming just might be my favorite all-inclusive Spidey adventure of this century. Now that goes back to, of course, the early 2000s. We had three movies with Tobey Maguire. I did like the first one and kind of like the second one. The third one was just an abomination. And then we had a couple of Spider-Man movies in the early 2010s with Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone, both obviously first-class actors, but both far too old to be playing high school age students. In Spider-Man Homecoming, Tom Holland, he's a little bit older than high school age, but he certainly comes across believable as a 15-year-old sophomore in high school. And one of the things I really liked about this movie is they spend at least as much time on Peter Parker slash Spidey's high school adventures and friendly neighborhood adventures as they do on the big CGI action sequences. We also get a really strong performance from Michael Keaton as your obligatory vulture. He's the villain. He's vulture. Now, Keaton's already played a Batman. He's already played a Birdman. So why not play a vulture? Really good stuff here. Robert Downey Jr. shows up as Tony Stark, who is kind of the Mr. Miyagi to young Peter Parker. That's really good stuff. Marissa Tomei, terrific as Aunt May. And all of the young actors who play Peter's high school friends and one is a possible love interest terrific as well. This is lighter and breezier than a lot of the recent superhero movies we've seen, which I think strikes just the right tone for a Spider-Man film. Spider-Man Homecoming, three and a half stars, A-minus. Check it out.